हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक शिफ्टिंग कल्टीवेशन बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई एव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जेबी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन एंड प्रेजेंटली वर्किंग एज ए सीट प्रोफेशनल इन वन ऑफ द एम एसोसिएटेड विथ सीट्स इन पेस्टिसाइड सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रेजेंटेशन वाट इज शिफ्टिंग कल्टिवेशन A primitive form of agriculture in which people working with the crudest of tools cut down a part of the forest, burnt the underneath growth, and started new garden sites. After few years, when these plots lost their fertility or became heavily infested with weeds or soil-borne pests, they shifted to a new site. This is also known as a sorting system, which refers cultivating crops till the land is completely worn out. Contrary to the fallow system, fallow system means land is allowed for a resting period without any crop. Traditionally, the fallow period is ten to twenty years, but in recent times, it is reduced to two to five years in many areas. This shifting cultivation is considered most destructive for forest areas. In India, shifting cultivation existed in different states with different names, as jhum cultivation in Assam. Podu in Andhra Pradesh and Odisha, Kumri in Western Ghats, Valra in South East Rajasthan, Penda Bever in Madhya Pradesh, and Silas and Burn in Bihar. Here we have shown the cycle of shifting cultivation. A clearance is made by cutting down trees and burning vegetation. This is called Silas and Burn. After that, crops are planted and grow well in the warm and humid conditions. Within four or five years, the soil becomes exhausted and the yields gets poorer and poorer. After that, the clearing is abandoned and the farmers move on other fields. The clearing gradually grows over and the natural forest returns again. This picture shows the shifting pattern. In case of shifting cultivation, the cultivation is done on first plot, and after the soil exhausted and yield become poorer and poorer, they are shifting to second plot. so the same system is followed from one plot to another when the fertility has lost and there is yielding very poor and uh, they are searching for new fields again after harvesting of and burning of forest lands here to study the causes of shifting cultivation the existence of shifting cultivation in the country is a compound effect of the different causes like first one ethnic groups and local people have traditionally rely on shifting cultivation age subsistence agricultural practice second topographic condition doesn't allow enough land resource to develop permanent cultivation and third little or no alternative opportunity to substitute shifting cultivation with more promising land use system and fourth due to population growth and poverty there is no option except shifting cultivation which needs very little investment here we have shown the steps of shifting cultivation like first one is selection of site second is slashing third is burning fourth is cultivation fifth is harvesting process after that abandoning the old sites and moving to new sites here we have shown the process of slash and burning there is intact forest which is went to slash and burning process which becomes fertile soil and in this soil the farming is done after long due of course of cultivation the soil becomes infertile soils and after that the field is let it grow and after regrowth it become again intact forest so that is the cycle of slash and burning now to discuss some briefs about shifting cultivation more than 6% area under tropical forest was converted to shifting cultivation between 1980 to 1990 across all tropical countries as per report ranjan and upadhyay 1999 about 10% of forest land was converted to shifting cultivation in asia during 1980 to 1990 as per singh and marjoli in 1995 in pioneer or frontier situation where ratio of fallow periods to cultivation phases are up to 10 or more the system is stable ecologically sound and reasonably efficient as a result of population pressure and various reasons for intensification of production the fallow periods become drastically reduced 
short fallow periods are no longer adequate to restore the soil productive capacity. The shifting cultivation system is practiced extensively in the northeastern hill regions comprising of the states of Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Nagaland and Tripura and the two union territories of Arunachal Pradesh and Mizoram and to some extent of Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha and Karnataka and Bihar states. Odisha is a major state adopting this practice. The tribal communities like Bhuya, Jonga, Kanda, Irengakola, Kutia, Baniya, Saura, Jatpa, Paraja, Gadaba, Kamar and Koya are involved in these practices. 85% of the total cultivation in Northern East India is by shifting cultivation. In India, about 5 million tribal families are practicing this system on 4.37 million hectares of land covering 11 states. What are the advantages of shifting cultivation? First, there is a small investment needed. Second, simple growing method. Third, no need of animal labor power. Fourth, environmentally friendly because it is organic farming. Fifth, well fertilized soils. Sixth, it may reduce the incidence of soil borne diseases. And seventh, it can play a part in pest management. What are the disadvantages of shifting cultivation? First one, it is not for long term. Second, destroying habitats of wild animals. Third, taking our life element like oxygen is reducing. Fourth, deforestation. And fifth, troublesome to move around all the time. Now we will study about effects of shifting cultivation. First one, shifting cultivation causes loss of flora and fauna, which includes precious species of tree plants, shrubs, medicinal plants and minor forest products. Second, it is an easy method of deforestation. Third, the wild animals lost their shelter. And fourth, causes heavy flood in the rivers below. Fifth, siltation to the tanks, nalaj, rivers and reservoirs. After the sixth, ecology is disturbed and destroyed which never restored. Then seventh, soil erosion. The intensity of erosion depends on slope, soil characteristics, crop coverage, depth of soil and rainfall patterns and here due to deforestation there is increase in soil erosion. Now what are the alternatives of shifting cultivation? Forest department is implementing integrated land use practices as a development solution to eradicate shifting cultivation and there are different parameters and practices to be followed. Initiating growth forestry by growing long term crops together at the cultivation phase. Developing crop farming practices. Facilitating development of contour bund plantations. Encouraging to participate in establishing forest plantations. Mixed planting of trees and long term agricultural crops. Measures to develop possible income generation opportunities. Encouraging to manufacture and utilize green manure and extension about the adverse impact of shifting cultivation. Now what is the conclusion? The existing practice of shifting cultivation in tropical and subtropical countries has been identified as one of the orthopogenic and unscientific form of land use which is influencing the biodiversity to impact the ecological balance of the region. Second, otherwise, zooming has many benefits from livelihood point of view but in long term it destroys the ecosystem balance because one inch soil formation in nature takes about thousand years but several inches of soil are washed out each year due to zooming cultivation also resulted in large scale deforestation soil and nutrient losses and by the way affecting the indigenous biodiversity to a large extent although shifting cultivation is a non-viable resource utilization practice tribals are still clinging to this primitive practice to sustain themselves and their families. So this was all about shifting cultivation. Now my presentation ends here. Hope this presentation will be very very helpful to all of you. Thank you very much. I have given here my YouTube channel details. Journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thanking you.